Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're going to be having a look at some mystery riddles and basically only the smartest 5% of people can solve them. So yeah, make sure to play along at home and subscribe if you haven't already. Okay, so Kevin was killed in the apartment. This is Kevin. He shared with two roommates. Okay, so are we going to have to try and find out who murdered him? The police suspect three people. Oh gosh, a lot of people did not like him by the sounds of it. Okay, so this is Clyde, his roommate. I was on a trip yesterday. What a tragedy. So Clyde says he was on a trip yesterday. My plants died while I was away. This is Sheila. I was taking a bath when I heard the key turn in lock. When I came out, he was already dead. Okay, so she's saying it wasn't her as well. And who is this? This is Clyde's girlfriend. Yesterday, I came over to water Clyde's flowers. Sheila and Kevin never did. Who killed Kevin? Okay, so we got Clyde, Clyde's girlfriend, and Sheila. I'm pretty sure Clyde said at the start of the video that his plants were all dead, so it has to be his girlfriend. So I'm gonna go with Clyde's girlfriend. I'm pretty sure she's the one who murdered Kevin. Okay, so we weren't in fact correct. Clyde said his plants were dead, so she didn't water them. Okay, so we solved the first one, and so far we got it correct. Okay, so Billy worked as a salesman in a car dealership. On Christmas Eve, he was found dead in the back of the room. Okay, that's not good. The police identified three suspects. Okay, so we're gonna have to see which of these suspects killed him. Okay, so this is Molly, the manager. I had a long talk with a disgruntled customer. When I hung up, Billy had already been dead. Here is Frank's the salesman. I was concluding a contract with a new client at the front desk. And this is Randall, who's head of sales. I was across town meeting with a client. Okay, so we're gonna have to try and figure out who the murderer was. Who killed Billy? Okay, so I'm pretty sure at the start of the video, I'm gonna look for it now. It says right here on Christmas Eve, he was found dead. But if we look right here, this person right here is holding a contract and it says December 22nd. So how could he be sorting out a contract that is out of date? So it has to be him. Okay, we're gonna find out right now know who it was. He concluded this contract two days before, so it was indeed Frank. We must be getting good at these, because that's another one we've solved. A car was found at the border between two countries. Okay, let's figure out what's happened. All of the passengers were killed. Oh no, that is not good. None of them had any documents. We're gonna have to try and figure out who they are. The policemen from both countries arrived in the scene. Which country should take this case? Okay, so I actually don't know. Shouldn't both of them just work together? That's that's actually kind of confusing. How are we meant to know? Because technically this person is still in this country and these two people are in this country. Honestly, I've got absolutely no idea. Should they not just work together? Okay, we're gonna find out now. The car was leaving country B to go to country A, so it is their responsibility. Actually, thinking about that now, that makes a lot of sense. It looks like country B is gonna have to try and solve the murder. Who is the undead? Wait, I'm so confused. What does it mean, undead? Does it mean the person is still alive? Oh my gosh, I'm looking at this. I've got absolutely no idea. How are we meant to tell who is undead? Yeah, I've been looking at this for a couple of minutes and I've got absolutely no idea how I'm meant to solve it. Like, how am I meant to know who's alive and who isn't? Oh, it just zoomed into this person. Actually, that makes a lot of sense. For some reason, when I was thinking of undead, I was thinking like somebody there was not dead. I don't know that mess with my brain. I've got no idea what I'm saying. Who is undead? Okay, so this is another one of them silly ones. We have to see who's dead. I'm pretty sure it's this guy because by the looks of it, he's got a skeleton hand. See, that one was a lot easier to try to figure out. Okay, yeah, it was indeed him. See, that wasn't that hard. But that first one did not make a lot of sense. Like, I was confused. Who is undead? Okay, we have to try and see who is dead. I've got absolutely no idea. Like, how are we meant to tell? Um, okay, they're, like, doing an x-ray over everyone, I think. What are we looking for? I'm so confused. I was looking over that x-ray a couple of times, and I've got absolutely no idea how we're meant to tell. Like, I didn't see anything. Did you guys see something? We're gonna find out now in a second, anyway. Anyways. Oh, was she not there? I couldn't tell. Okay, we're gonna unpause it. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. She didn't, like, show there, did she? Nope, she didn't. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay, here is another who is dead. By the looks of it, they all look dead. Like, why do they look like that? They look so weird. I don't understand why we're trying to figure out who's dead and who isn't. Okay, so I was looking at this tombstone, and by the looks of it, this is that guy. I think somehow this guy has risen from the dead, so I'm assuming it's a little boy. Yeah, it was him. Like, he's on the tombstone soon right there. Okay, so here's an actual good riddle. A man left a $100 bill in his desk and left for work. Okay, I wonder what's happened to it. When he came back, the money was gone. Oh no, somebody's stolen the money by the looks of it. Who has stolen the money? I'm gonna assume we're gonna have to try and figure out. He questioned three suspects. Okay, so here's the three people. This is the cook. I put the bill under the book on the desk, but it was no longer there. Okay, so has it magically disappeared? Here is the maid. I put it inside the book between page one 
one and two. But there was nothing. Okay, so who has taken the money? We're gonna have to try and figure that out. Here is electrician. I saw the bill sticking out of the book. Okay, so that means that it was in the book. So were the other two lying or not? I moved it between page two and three. I don't understand what's going on. What are we trying to figure out? I can't tell who's taken it. Who stole the money? Surely it had to be the cook because didn't he say when he went back it wasn't there? See, I don't know. This is a bit of a tricky one. Oh my God, it was the electrician. Is it gonna tell us how he stole it? If the man checked for the money between page one and two, then page two and three will be the opposite sides of a single page. Oh yeah, that does make sense to be fair. Actually, I see how he now took it. Okay, so Anna was found dead inside of her house. Why is everyone dying in this video? Her mobile was next to her body and by the looks of it, it's called a number. 64445533. I wonder what number that is. The primary suspects were her mother, Amy, her stepfather, Rick, and her neighbor, Mike, and her boyfriend, John. Okay, so it's one of them. Having analyzed the scene of the crime, the police arrested the murderer. Okay, so I think we're gonna have to try and figure out who the murderer is. Oh my gosh, wait, it's counting down. Are we meant to be able to tell? It's got the phone number right there, but I don't know what that means. Is that like some type of code? Because if that's a brick phone, doesn't a number also mean a letter? Maybe it's some type of secret code, like what they were wearing or who their name is. I've got no idea. Okay, so it says this old phone uses T9. What does T9 mean? So if she wanted to type a name, yes, I was correct. She'd have to use numbers. She would say Six button once. What? That doesn't make any sense. Four button three times. Oh, I think it was Mike. Yeah, I was correct. It was Mike in the end. Anyways, guys, that is the end of the video. We look at some mystery riddles, which only the smartest of people can solve. Let me know if you'd like to see me do another mystery riddle video in the future, and I definitely will. Make sure to subscribe and go through and watch all of my other videos, and I will see you all in my next video.